I've got a problem with people who are trying to justify tithing in the new order, using Melchizedek through Abraham as a justification. And here's why. If you've got a Bible, go with me to the book of Genesis chapter 14, and we're reading verse 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. Melchizedek served Abraham wine, and he served him bread, and he blessed him, and then Abraham gave him a tithe from the spoils of the war. When you go and pay tithe, how many of your pastors sit you down and give you bread and give you wine and bless you personally? I want to ask you. It's all turned into a money-making venture for them. The only person blessed by your tithe is your pastor. At least Abraham was blessed when he tithed to Melchizedek. He ate bread and drank wine. Put me something on the internet about one fellow who said he was talking about tithe. That we should pay tithe. I, I, at first, I didn't want to listen, but God said, wait now, listen to what he has to say. And the fellow continued to talk, and he said, you see, tithe is supposed to be used to buy alcohol so they can drink in church. I said, ah, well, now we know who is talking. Even mad people don't go to church to drink alcohol. No, 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 no matter how crazy somebody is, the moment you say this is a church, ask him to come in and drink, he will say, I I'm not that crazy. Because even in his madness, he knows when you say this is the house of God, the house belongs to God. Leader of the Free Nation, this message is for Pastor Adeboe. Good afternoon, sir. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. I saw a viral video that seems to be your response to my questions about tithing. And I want to ask you, sir, why do you debate my facts with sentiment and emotions? What I raised was biblical. Yes, you said that uh, even a mad person knows that you shouldn't take alcohol into the house of God. But that's not what the Bible says. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, all the way down from 22 to 29, it breaks it down. It says you should sell your tithe. And when you get to the place the Lord has chosen, one of the things you could buy is alcohol. Holman's version says beer. King James version says strong drink. So why?